to you having considered your faithfulness upon our lives upon our youth upon our children lord we've come this morning with a heart full of praise with a mouth filled with songs of victory to cut a covenant with you lord i ask that by the virtue of this great assembly we pray that your presence will be so strong in our midst and that your hand will be so mighty upon us so as to do your bidding in the name of Jesus. Lord, we present our lives to you and we ask that you accept, O oh God, that which you've come to offer you, which is our hearts. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable before thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say a believing amen? amen? Before you sit down, I want you to look at your neighbor and smile to him or her and say to him or her neighbor, because you are here to celebrate my children. My God will celebrate you. Say to him, I am neighbor. It doesn't matter whether you have a child or not. God of covenant is here with us. And because we are celebrating his faithfulness upon our children, God will honor you. If you believe that, shout about that. Amen. God bless you as you sit down. Praise the Lord. I want to start by appreciating God Almighty for this privilege to stand before us this morning. I want to sincerely thank our Father in God, Venerable Dr. Chudobi, for this rare privilege to so use his pulpit. I also want to thank the ministers that God has placed side by side with him to put the gospel forward in this part of Nigeria. I want to thank all the workers, the harvest committee. I want to thank everybody that are contributing in one way or the other to make sure that what God is doing here will not stop on the way. I pray sincerely for you that my God will honor you. I say, my God, we honor you. In the name of Jesus. I deem it fit also to thank each and every one of us and the families who represented here this morning. You don't need a prophet to tell you that God is good to the people of this church. And because you've made yourself available for what God wants to do in this part of the world, God will make sure that you will lack nothing. In the name of Jesus. The theme before us this morning says, Harvest of divine help. Harvest of divine help. Let's quickly open our Bible to the book of Genesis. Because of time, I will cut some verses just to arrive to where we need to get to and to hear what God has for us. Genesis chapter 43, I will read verse 1 and 2, I will read verse 11, I will read verse 26 to 29. Genesis chapter 43, and it came to pass, when they had eaten the, of the corn which they had brought out, 
of Egypt. Their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. Verse 11. And their father Israel said unto them, It is, if it must be so now, do this. Take of the best fruit in the land in your vessel and carry down the, the man a present, a little balm and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almond. Jump to verse 26. And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And he asked them of their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you speak? Is he yet alive? And they answered, The servant our father is in good health. He is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obvious. And he lifted up his eyes and... That he or she must say thanks to the Lord. When we talk about harvest of divine help, we are talking about a presentation, an appearance, a show of appreciation unto the Lord for what he has done and to enter into a new covenant with him for what he will still do. For a man to think of appreciating God in a time like this, it means that that man has seen through the eyes of the Spirit. And that man has come to understand that according to the times and the move of God, what is being done today is a thing that needs to be done. When we talk about harvest, we are talking about a season of appreciation. When we talk about harvest, we are talking about a time that men that has understanding, like the sons of Issachar, peep through the eyes of the Spirit. They have seen the heart of God and they came to an understanding that it is time to appreciate God because the Bible says that a gift of a man maketh way for him. We are we read in the Bible. The Bible gave a story about a man that in his days and time, the Bible revealed that they have finished what they had and they deemed it fit to go for another one. But because Jacob was a man of the spirit, he came to an understanding that there is a need for them to go with a present in their hand. And Jacob said to his sons, it is not meet for you to appear before this man empty-handed. 
it is needful for you to go with a present, seeing that this man has been good to you. Joseph in his time and days happens to be a man of renown. He was a governor, a man of a high profile in the land of Egypt. And typologically, Joseph was a clear-cut representative of Christ. For the Bible says, And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, No man in this land will be above you, only by the reason of my throne as the king of Egypt will I be above you. And in Philippians chapter 2, the Bible says, And God has highly exalted him and has given him a name that is above every other name, that by the name of Jesus, everything in heaven, on earth, and beneath it shall bow. Joseph was a representative of Christ. And in their days, a man deemed it fit that for this man to be kind to us, it is needful that we go with a presence. And today, we are presenting our youth, we are presenting our children to a man that is considered to be the governor of the whole world. For the Bible said that the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. It may surprise you to know that in the book of Genesis chapter 4, the Bible reveals that the event that opened our eyes to see the program of God in the redemption was captured at the time of giving offering unto the law. For the Bible said, And Abel brought the first of everything and the fat of it. By that, by that gift unto the Lord, Abel was painting a picture of what is in the heart of God for redeeming man because man has failed. In the same Genesis, the Bible revealed that the first time God spoke after man was cast out of Eden was as a result of the offering of a man that pleased God. And that speaking was as a result of a rebook because by reason of a seed, by reason of an offering, a man provoked the jealousy of God upon his life that when the enemy was annoyed, the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? What does that tell us? That reveals to us that in the program of God, there is a time and there is a season that when a man gives an offering of appreciation unto the Lord, he is striking a chord that will provoke God to defend him. I pray for somebody here this morning. May you be that man that your seed and your appreciation offering will provoke God to defend you in the name of Jesus. Why does God require us to come to show appreciation to him? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. The Bible says that where thy treasure is, there thy heart will be also. The Lord needs your heart because your treasure, when you give it to the Lord, your heart is needed to it. And your heart is channeled towards God. Why does God require us to come to his presence and offer unto him? It is because it is a command with a promise therein. For the Bible says in Psalm 50 verse 14 and 15. Offer unto God thanksgiving and bear thy vows unto the most high and call upon me in the time of trouble and I will answer you 
and deliver you. May your offering today, may your seed of appreciation in the hand of Jehovah provoke God to defend you in your days of trouble in the name of Jesus. Even though the situation in the time of Jacob was not present, yet the man deemed it fit. Because having been a man that has worked with God for years, he understands the power of appreciation. The Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 28, if you begin to read from verse 9, the Bible said that David wanted to build unto the Lord. And the Lord said, no, you are not qualified to do it. And the Bible said that David made available peace. He taught Solomon how to give unto the Lord a quality offering. Today we are celebrating our youth. We are celebrating our children. And each and every one of them seated here came from a family. And I believe sincerely in my heart that what God wants to do is that he wants to cut a covenant with the people. If you read down from my text, you agree with me that that seed alone opened different doors to the people of Israel. And one of the doors was that when they came to Egypt, they had their place in the best land in Egypt, the land of Goshen. I believe strongly in my spirit that what God wants to do is that God wants us, wants us to show appreciation unto the Lord. Many of our fathers seated here today. It is possible that when you came to Lagos, you came with nothing. It is possible that when you came to Lagos, you came confused. It is possible that when you came to Lagos, you are so short-sighted that you hardly see the future. You came as a boy boy. Some of our mothers and our aunts and our uncles sit that here. You came with no direction, with no vision. But look at how far God has kept you. God has not only blessed you. God has given you homes. Some of us are landlord in Lagos. God has given you children. God has prospered your business. God is making sure that every single day of the year, your life is preserved. Will you this morning, in appreciation to the Lord, teach your children, teach your youth, your young ones, the need to appreciate God? Will you this morning encourage them with a seed unto the Lord, a seed of appreciation, a seed of thanksgiving, a seed that will speak for them, having considered where God brought you from and where He is now with you and where He's taking you to. Can you appreciate God by encouraging this ones? Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. The Bible said that the righteous man lives inheritance for his children's children. When the Bible talks about inheritance, it's not talking about a house ordinarily. Because if your great-grandfather left a house for you, by now it would have been obsolete. And the Bible said that the wealth of the wicked shall be possessed by the righteous. The Bible said, I've seen a man that giveth yet he had more. And I've seen a man that withhold it, yet he is a lack. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, chapter 11, verse 1 and 2. And verse, verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, Give unto seven. Give a portion to seven. Yeah, even to eight. For you know not the evil that will come upon the earth. It is a season of appreciation. It is a time with God to show a sincere appreciation. And we want to appreciate God in the life of our youth. And in the life of our children, can you teach your children this morning with a good seed in their hand how to offer unto the Lord? Shall we stand even as we pray?
The faithfulness of God cannot be quantified with any material thing. But it is sown with what we give to the Lord. I have a prayer point to make this morning. And that prayer I will make an altar call. Our youths and our children are to come to the altar unto the Lord with their seed to appreciate God. I'm not talking about a seed of, 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 of 50 or 20 naira. I'm talking about a seed that having considered God and his faithfulness in your life, you want to say, God, I am want to appreciate you through my word. I want to appreciate you through my son, through my daughter. I want to show you how grateful I am for all you have done for me. Can you encourage them? If you have a seed with you, a seed of 1,000, a seed of 2,000, a seed of three, four, five thousand, even a seed of 500, and you want to say, God, in this day of harvest of divine help, I want to cut a covenant with you. Please, can you come to the altar? We want to pray with you. Oh God. You can give it to your children. If your children is not here, you can come out. Encourage your children. Teach them to come to the altar to, of the Lord with a seed of appreciation. If your children are here, encourage them. It is a season. It is a harvest. It is time to give unto the Lord. It is time to show God how grateful we are. It is time to appreciate God. The youth here, you might be saying you are not working. But I believe that you have pocket money. Can you enter into a covenant with God? And say, God. I am celebrating my children. I am celebrating my youth. I am celebrating God's faithfulness. I am celebrating what you have done for me. And I am celebrating what you will still do. Therefore, I am encouraging my child with this seed in his or in her hand to come and appreciate you. If your son or daughter is oh here and correct that person. Tell the person that today is not a day to give, but to give a quality of freedom to God. Oh this my time is up. You want to be part of this? I am going to be a Agme jinto, unto the gemma. Agme ji bam bam, bam bam na tancha. Evo agme ji upi mo, woro ti mulo. Agme ji aja, aja the gemma. Agme jinto. You can teach your child to thank God for yourself and for your family. Put 1,000 naira in the hand of your child. Put 500 naira in the hand of your child. If the child is not here, you can take the seed on behalf of the child and come to the altar. This is the day we dedicate our children. These children will go far. They will become governors, please. They will become leaders. They will become a lot of things. This is the day we place a seed on their behalf. This is the day we make sacrifice on their behalf. Go and check the children of Jacob. They became the Israel we know. So please, don't discourage these children. Let them come. Let them come. Please, all the children, all the children, come and join us here. Your parents will come with your own seed. Come and join us here for prayers. Your parents will come with their own seed for your sake. All the children, all the youths, please, come up here. It is time we want to pray for you. Youths, youths, please, come up here. 
Children, come up. Whether you have money or not, come. Your parents are here. They will place a seed on your behalf. They will tell God, this my child, this my child, this my child will be this, that, and will not be a failure. All the youths, all the children, don't sit back. Come forward to the altar. We want to pray for you. If you can't locate your parents, don't worry, just come. They will come with the seed to the altar. Parents, come and place a seed on the head of your child. You have five children. You have six. You have three. You have four. You have one, two. God is asking you for a, a thousand and five hundred naira. We have heard from the youth who preached today. We have heard the word of God from the youth who preached. He's a youth. He's young. He's just finished from the university. And if God gave him that kind of revelation, we should embrace it. The preacher said, when some of us came to Lagos, we are nothing. Some of us were singles, but now we are married, we have family. Now we have houses, we are landlords. Now we have cars, we have one thing or the other. And he said, put a seed in the hand of your child, or raise it on behalf of your child, to thank God on your behalf. Job used to make sacrifice for his children. David provided what Solomon we need to, I mean, we used to build a house, provide a sacrifice. Let us pray. Those in the front can kneel. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, this is a moment of covenant, even as your son has spoken. This moment we are bringing our children we are bringing them some you gave one some you gave two some you gave three some you gave four some you gave five some you gave more than that and there are people here who don't even have their own children but they brought the seed before you because they believe that you who gave others can also visit them Kabo Shataya Therefore, Lord, we are coming into covenant with you by the reason of this sacrifice and by the reason of this seed. We declare upon our children, we declare upon our youth, you will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. You will not be a failure. You will not be a loser. You will not suffer limitation. You will not be the last. You will be the first. You will not be the tail. You will be the head. No weapon formed against you will prosper. In the name of Jesus. We declare upon our children. And upon our youth. Your destiny will not be hijacked. I say your destiny will not be hijacked. In the name of Jesus. That which God has put inside you. That which God has put inside you. That's your potential. We speak to it from this altar. I speak to it from this altar. I declare. Manifest. In the name of Jesus. In the school. Let the potential manifest. In your academic environment, let the potential manifest. Where you are working, let the potential manifest. If there is any child here with a terminal disease, Kabalako Tapaha, if there is any child here that the enemy has fired an arrow, if there is any child here that have caused the parents sleepless night, today, we speak deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, the Bible says, the blessings of God makes rich and add no sorrow. 
these children you are giving to us, they will not cause us pain. They will not bring us sorrow. In the name of Jesus, according to the word of God, I declare, the children you are giving to us, our youth, they are for signs and wonders. They are for signs and wonders. In their school, they are for signs and wonders. Wherever they find themselves, they are for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. You brought your sacrifice, you brought your seed, raise it up. Or raise your hand up. Lord, we present before you this seed with which we have made this prophetic utterance. Just as this seed will come to you and we will not be able to collect it back individually. Lord, I declare, so shall all the prophetic declarations that we have made upon the children and upon this youth be irreversible in the name of Jesus. With this sacrifice, according to your word in Psalm 50, we enter into this covenant with you that while we pass through the land, we will prosper. Our children will prosper. Generation, generation to come will prosper. In the name of Jesus. Your servant whom you have used to speak today, continually you will make him a voice. Continually you will cause him to stand out. Continually you will use him. He will not fail you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our youths. And thank you for our families. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. Shout a living amen. Please find your way and put it in the present. Wonderful, marvelous, and the ones of my love. Oh my God.